In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome and really easy to do shining text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new title. So we'll follow the normal procedure and go file, new legacy title. We'll press OK. And inside of the legacy title window, you want to press this T icon, select anywhere in the black video and type out a word of your choice. I'm going to choose Brooker. We'll change the font. We'll change the weight of the font. We'll increase the size of the font. We'll add a small amount of kerning. And this is just basically spaces between the characters. Change the color to, let's go to a blue. We'll go for a medium light blue and we'll center that up. There you go. That looks really awesome. So once you're happy with your title, you just want to exit the legacy title window and we'll drag that title onto video layer one. Now, I'm just going to extend the duration of this out to around 10 seconds. And then from there, I'm going to make a copy of that text layer. So we'll select title 04, we'll hold option on the keyboard, and we'll drag that up to video layer 2 and then release. Alternatively, if you can't do that or it's not working for some reason, just hold command C to copy, command V if you move over, and then drag that back on top. So we've now got two text titles exactly the same right on top of each other. So from here, we'll go into effects, go levels, and we'll drop levels on to the title, which is on video layer two. So it's the top title layer. So we'll drop that onto that layer and we'll increase the white input level. This is basically going to increase the brightness just a touch. We don't want to overdo this, just make this very subtle. And then from there, we're going to go into opacity on the second text layer, go to the free draw bezier, and we're just going to draw a mask around one of the letters. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you basically want to make this a slanted rectangle. So rather than a perfect rectangle, you want to slant this over, just skew it just a little bit, and then we can move on to the next stage. So we'll just go to mask path. We'll move the position of this mask over to the left. We'll go roughly a second into the text layer. We'll create a brand new keyframe on mask path by selecting the stopwatch icon. We'll move roughly three seconds over, go mask one, and we'll drag the position of that over to the right. Now, if we play this back, there you go. We've got this really basic shining effect happening. Of course, it's a little too fast for my liking, so I'm going to pull that second keyframe over to the right. And then I'm just going to really make this really pop. So I'm going to go back into levels and we'll increase that white input level just a touch. And then we'll go into our mask one and we'll go to mask feather and we'll increase the feathering to around 70%. Now we'll play that back. And that's a little too slow for my liking now. So this is a juggling act. You just want to be a bit playful with this. Try and find a point that you're happy with. So I'm going to pull that back a touch. And there you go. That looks really nice. And there you go. It's a very simple effect, but it can really help to add a bit of character to your text. Combine that with some zooming or scaling animation, and you've got yourself a really awesome title. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.